Hey, Julie Burke here. How's it going, everybody? How's it? How's it? Uh, what day? What day is today? Wednesday. Guys, I'm losing track of my days. Just thought I'd come to you live. Um, I'll get back to scheduling these lives. I know when I schedule them, you guys really um, respond to me scheduling my lives, and you like it. So I'm just. I know it's later in the afternoon. Not used to seeing me live at 3 o'clock, but here I am. So as you tune in, you guys say hello, uh, show me some love. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I always love to meet um, all of my fans and followers all over the world. It's pretty cool. Um, hey, Lauren. How's it going? Hey, Donna. Uh, I'm doing okay, Donna. Thank you for asking. I really appreciate that. Um it's been a bit difficult, but just taking it one day at a time, like that's all my family and I can do. Um, for those of you that do not know, we lost um, our dog last week. Um, she was sick. She was diagnosed with cancer. And um, we lost her very, very, very quickly. And so a lot of it has been processing all the emotions, you guys. Like there were so many emotions that took um, that came into play. Um, I know some of you that have been following me have been following the journey of the six weeks where we just thought she had, they thought she had lower back pain to then a UTI to then a tumor on her lung and then to being terminal. You guys, it was, it was, it was such an array of emotions. I can't explain it, you guys. And she was our fur baby. Like, I mean, like, our fur baby before we had babies. So I don't know if I have any uh, animal lovers in the house here. If you if you do have an animal and you know what I'm talking about, drop me a dog emoji, let me know. Or a cat or whatever your animal is, drop me the emoji. Um, it's really tough to go through the loss of a pet. Um, I never in a million years thought I would ever have to face that. And she was so young. She was nine. Oh my gosh. And so she was this playful, happy little puppy. And six weeks ago, that was it, you guys. That was it. Um, we, we, it just was spiraled from there. So thank you for asking. Um, uh, gone but not forgotten. She always lives on in our hearts. And last Thursday was the most difficult day in my entire life and my husband. And all I can say is she's not suffering anymore. And um, that is the responsibility as a pet owner that you have to make to, to, to not have them suffer anymore, you guys. And so um, a lot of emotions have been processed and just kind of taking it one day at a time. Yes, they are family. They are definitely like family, Lauren. So moving forward in, um, I took some time off from doing these Facebook Lives. Um, I'm sorry, but I needed that time to just be with her. Um, I was trying to do everything I could to help her, and it was just too late. It was just too late. Um, the cancer already spread. So thank you for being patient. I am back. I'm looking forward to 2018. Um, and looking forward to helping all of you crush 2018. And so what I wanted to talk to you guys today about, um, and thank you for all the prayers as well. I want to come on and say thank you for all of the prayers, all of the messages. I mean, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, so real quick, I want to talk about overwhelm because I find that, um, that as entrepreneurs, we can get inside of this constant state of overwhelm. And so um, if that is you, drop me some sort of, um, drop, me, drop me a one below if you know what I'm talking about in regards to as we're building our business, whether you're a network marketer, affiliate marketer, or starting a coaching business, I feel like we can often overwhelm ourselves, okay? And so I wanted to talk to you today about that because um, I'm not going to lie and say that I don't ever have overwhelm in my life, you guys. Um, I feel like life sometimes can be overwhelming. However, 
Um, I choose to use different words besides the word overwhelm because I feel that when I'm talking to people, that's constantly what I'm hearing is the word overwhelm. And so what does overwhelm mean? I mean, um, we live in a world right now where we're being bombarded and of course we're going to feel overwhelmed in every capacity. I mean, every time we turn around, something else is changing. Uh, there's another technology being introduced. Um, Facebook is changing something with the algorithm. So now we have to learn to something new. Um, maybe you're trying to go on your journey with weight loss and you feel overwhelmed or maybe you got diagnosed with a sensitivity, a food allergy sensitivity. You guys, I was diagnosed with something years ago before gluten was even like a hot topic and I was told I had to avoid gluten and dairy and I was like, I felt overwhelmed just on that. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. After I cried for like hours, I was like, what the hell do I eat? You know, like back then we didn't have access to all this gluten and dairy free stuff. So there's always going to be a time in our life where we feel overwhelmed. Okay. Um, hey Santa, nice to meet you. I hope I'm saying that name right. Very, very nice to meet you. So if you know somebody who is overwhelmed in their life, I want you to share this with them. Okay. And if you write share, I'm going to give you a shout out, tag somebody, be kind because the message I'm going to give you, um, I hope will be very impactful for you today. Um, first of all, I want you to know if you do feel overwhelmed, you are not alone. Okay. There's many entrepreneurs out there that either are working full time and they're trying to work this network marketing business on the side. There's people that are out there trying to figure out online marketing or how to brand themselves or how to run traffic. I mean, right? Like we can kind of get, we could kind of just get caught up in this constant state of overwhelm. Okay. So number one, let's stop using the word overwhelm because I hear it I hear it constantly and I'll tell you when I dropped the word overwhelm, my life didn't seem as overwhelmed anymore, okay? But here's the number one thing that, um, hey Alberto, nice to meet you from Las Vegas. Um, Maisha, I hope I just said your name right. Thank you for sharing, lady, thank you so much. Um, also, I if you do share, I want you to put share in the comments because I will send you a free gift. Um, I have this new um, how to create your own personality brand workbook. It is off the charts. People are loving it. And I just put this guide together. And so I will send you that. So if you share, write share in the comments, I'll, I'll give you your free gift. Okay. So one thing that I've learned in my business, and if you do not know, you know who I am, if this is the first time that we are meeting, um, I want you to write new in the comments, okay? Um, a little bit about me, my name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com and what I do is I really specialize in teaching people how to grow their brand and their business online through utilizing and leveraging social media, okay? Um, I've built um, over seven figures inside of the network marketing space. I have built six-figure coaching business. I've built a six-figure affiliate marketing business. I am all about... Um, I'm all about being a multipreneur, but what I have built all of my businesses with is one thing, and that is creating a personality brand, okay? So that's really what I love to teach because everybody has their own unique voice and their own unique personality brand. Sometimes we just need someone to bring it out of us, okay? So um, uh, getting back to overwhelm, I want to just say that the one main thing this past year, if I look back and I reflect on 2017, now entering 2018, where I created my entire plan um, for 2018, but guess what? I'm going to be chunking it up into quarters, okay? Um, and then taking the quarter and even chunking it down into 30 days. If I look back on 2017 and I look back at this year, one year, in one year, I created a fan page of 54,000 followers. I created an email list of now 42,000 subscribers in, in a year. I have created five, five digital products to help network marketers and online marketers grow their business, okay? Um, I have, um, I mean, right? Are we talking like overwhelm? I am a mom to two crazy boys. Um, we have a life going on, okay? 
There's my beautiful friend Kate McShay just messaging me. Um, I am also an affiliate marketer as well as a network marketer, as well as I have my own coaching business where now I'm moving into, I now just started group coaching that I've been going through with my students, okay? It's a lot, you guys, right? That is what I created in 2017. Um, I took one business, oh, and I switched companies. I switched network marketing companies, okay? So walked away from a near seven-figure business to then start a new uh, network marketing company. Why? Because I saw a greater vision with the new company. I saw a home and I saw a place where I can allow, um, have all network marketers have success utilizing an online system the way that I want to build, not the way that my old company was building. There was flaws there, okay? Now I have the home run. I have the home run. So you sit here and you say, holy crap, Julie, like how do you still have hair? Like, right? You guys, I had many wall kicking moments. I had overwhelm when I was using the word overwhelm. Um, exactly. Um, you guys have some pretty unique names today. Um, I do, I'm not going to even... Last name, Dax. I'm not even going to pretend I know how to say your first name. Um, what does it mean walked away, no more income from there? Exactly. I walked away from multiple six figures a year, um, almost hit millionaire in that company to start over again in a new company in June of 2017. So yes, that means I resigned my position, walked away. I didn't even sell it. I resigned, walked away. Why? Because most people think in scarcity. I thought of in abundance. I did not think in scarcity. I thought of abundance, meaning what am I going to gain, not what I'm going to lose, okay? It had way more to do with finding a home than making money, okay? Being happy than making money, okay? So people could create millions of dollars and not be happy. I do not want to be one of those people. I need to be happy. I want to be happy as well as produce an income for me and my team. So that's what that means. I hope that answers your question. Um, here's the thing that you need to know out of all of this that I'm talking to you today. And that is the one thing, the reason I have success, the reason that I am not overwhelmed is because I have consistency. And this is where most people lack. They are not consistent. And I mean doing the, the crap that you don't want to be doing on a daily basis. I'm talking about the stuff that might be painful, meaning when I started my fan page in last year, um, I started my fan page a year ago. When nobody was showing up, I kept going. So what I do is I chunk out 30 days at a time. If I go anything over 30 days, you guys, I feel overwhelmed. So I started paying attention to where I was going into overwhelm. I, I highly encourage you to make your goals in 30 day chunks. If that seems overwhelming to you, then go to seven days. You guys, seven days, seven days, seven days. Each week, have a new goal. Each week, have a new goal. I do mine in 30 days. I build out my business in quarters, meaning I look at it in a quarter, but then I chunk it down to 30 days and then from those 30 days, what do I have to do every single day? Every single day to be consistent in my business. Do I need to do a Facebook Live? Do I need to do um, a reach out? Do I need to friend five new people on social media to be able to start connecting with and building um, relationships and introduce myself, okay? That's what these platforms are for. They're for networking. So instead of feeling overwhelmed, Every single day, you have to have consistent, persistent action towards your goal. So figure out your goal. So my Q1 of 2018, okay, because I did my whole yearly plan, and you're like, holy cow, Julie, you did like a whole 2018 plan? Yes, because guess what? I'm not going to be squirreling all over the place. I'm going to be focused and focused on what I need to do. Um, quarters at a time. So quarter one, it is building my network marketing business, okay, my net, with my new company. And I'm setting up systems for that, okay, because you have to have a system to help leverage your time or else you'll constantly be working in your business. Then from that point on, I'm going to just strictly be focused on group coaching. That is it, 
okay? Just group. You wanna work with me, it's group. So I'm just sharing with you my plan because you guys understand now, oh, okay, so that doesn't seem so overwhelming. So let's just say you have one income stream and your one income stream is your network marketing business, but you work full time. Guess what? You need to consist, You need to create a plan so you can do 30 minutes a day, maybe split up an hour, do 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the afternoon, 30 minutes at night, whatever is convenient for you. But guess what? You have to put a plan in place and you have to be consistent every single day in that plan. That is what took me from creating one income stream to four multiple six-figure income streams in one year. That is what allowed me to say, okay, I can now walk away from my old network marketing company that did not appreciate me being an entrepreneur and go somewhere else that does appreciate me being an entrepreneur and has an online system that I can introduce people to and help other network marketers build their business. Do you guys see? Like it, it, it was putting a plan in place and then being consistent with that plan. Does that make sense, you guys? So, hold on, let me just go back. I'm gonna look into some of these comments. Great tips, great tips. Julie, your opposite word to overwhelm. Okay, so your, my opposite word to overwhelm is basically, I don't say it anymore, okay? If I do feel like I'm like, oh, like I have a sense of that coming on, I look at it as just saying, okay, how am I going to get through this one little challenge today, okay? So I recognize the challenge, I call it maybe a challenge. Um, I'm being challenged at that moment. How am I gonna get through this challenge today? Um, is it that I feel like I have three or four things going on? Okay, let me take the three or four things and focus on the one main thing that's gonna make me move closer to my goals, right? Because I told you I'm, I'm a multipreneur and I, am a person and I know this and I recognize it that I want like everything done like yesterday you guys okay like I want everything yesterday done I um being an entrepreneur has taught me patience can anybody relate here I mean do you feel like you maybe are impatient in certain certain areas of your life but when it comes to entrepreneurship like it is about learning how to be more patient with yourself with your growth um with your team growth with your growth of learning online marketing whatever it is a big part of what i have learned this year has also been patience it has been looking at a situation and saying okay let me just drop everything and focus on one thing at a time, okay? Just like I'm telling you, taking it one day at a time, um, getting rid of the word overwhelm, okay? And replacing it with, I'm um, just challenged at this moment. Let me see how I could overcome this challenge. Let me, like, what could be my new plan to help me move forward in this, okay? So, um, yes, I mean, all of us face all of these same feelings. It's just a feeling, but you're, your words become your actions, you guys. So if you're sitting here and you're saying, I feel overwhelmed, guess what? You're going to stop right in your tracks. You are totally going to derail your dreams, okay? And that is like the last thing I want for all of you. Um, I will tell you, I went from um, eight months ago to having people that I loved in my last company totally hit me with a bus. And what I mean by that is, um, some stuff went down in my last company where my upline did not approve of what I was doing, okay, in terms of expanding my entrepreneurship into other areas, okay, and helping other network marketers build their businesses. They didn't, they didn't like it. So I was hurt. I was confused. I was, you know, very sad. I had a lot of emotions. Um, so that was eight months ago. To then six months ago making the, the decision to cut ties and move in a different direction, okay, with a new company. Um, to then three weeks ago, um, I I launched that business, okay. I went quiet for a while, but then I came out with my launch video. If you're not doing launch videos with your business, your network marketing business, you want to do a launch video, okay. So I did one three weeks ago. And I think my headline was, I'm finally ready to break my silence. Um, it was something like that. And so it had huge engagement. 
Um, to then at 20 days ago, I promoted eight times in my new business and I had 44 team members rank advance in four days. Like just crazy, you guys. To today, I was asked to speak on stage at the event that we have coming up, our conference in January. I am now speaking on stage with my new company. Like how flipping amazing is this? Now I will tell you, I went to the first conference in October, this past October, you guys, and I sat in the audience. I sat kind of back with, I had 16 team members, so very new to this company. We had 16 people go, kind of had my arms crossed, like taking it all in, and I turned to one of my team members, and I said, I will be on that stage next year. Now, I said, I'll be on that stage next year, meaning next October. So I called it, you guys, you got to speak it forward, okay, right? Like, so I spoke it out loud. I spoke it forward. I turned to her. I said, I'll be on that stage. She's like, oh, yeah, girl, you will. I know you. You will. And today I was asked by my my company to speak on stage in January way sooner than I ever expected. I was thinking, like, maybe next October at the next event. No, 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 January. So you guys, listen, I share... I'm sharing with you my journey this year so you understand that when life hits you with something that you think is devastating, right? And I don't mean like, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying as drastic as like a death or something. Like I understand like that definitely takes, uh, it, it just takes longer to get over you guys. Like, but it doesn't matter. Like whatever it means to you, devastating um, it was devastating to me and I was very hurt what happened to me eight months ago, but guess what? Instead of shriveling up and crawling up in a ball and doing nothing about it, I was like, you know what? Even my mom thought I was nuts. She's like, you're walking away from, from what? And I'm like, yep, I'm walking away. I'm starting over again. Most people think that's crazy. I call it entrepreneurship. I call it that I, I was just being real with myself and I have integrity as I am sure most of you have integrity. If you were walked on, I'm sure you could pick yourself up and say, you know what? I don't need this. I'm ready to move on. I don't work for corporate anymore. Okay. I decided years ago I would never go work for corporate America anymore. So if they want to put the, the cuffs on you or they're telling you to do things in a certain way. You guys, be strong enough and know your limits, okay? And it's okay to move on, all right? So there's my message for all of you today. I want to help you kind of breathe, get rid and shed the overwhelm. I want you to breathe and I want you to say, okay, what do I have to do on a consistent basis in my life and in my business to get to the point of where I want to grow for my next goal. Take it one goal at a time. Please do not, if you are like new to network marketing or you're new to your business, say, I wanna hit, you know, I'm gonna be at six figures in two months. I mean, you guys, part of this journey is to be realistic. I know that it is possible. I definitely know it's possible, but you also wanna be very, very realistic. So chunk your goals out uh, a quarter at a time, 30 days at a time, one day at a time. And um, I just, I wish you guys nothing but the best, seriously. Thank you again for all the prayers um, with Harley, our beloved dog. We greatly, greatly, greatly miss her. Um, you guys, I hope this helped. If you found it useful, sorry, now I have my seven-year-old standing here with a gingerbread house he must have made at school. So I'm gonna hop off so I could give him a kiss hello. And um, thank you again, you guys share this. Also, like I said, if you are new to me, right new, I'm gonna send you a free gift. If you also wanna learn how to brand, throw brand in the comment section. I'm gonna send you my um, how to create your own personality brand assessment workbook. Um, and I also have another free resource coming out as well very, very soon for all of you in January of 2018 on how to grow your fan page, how to grow your fan on your on your brand on your fan page, because I'm gonna tell you this right now, you can't leverage a personal page like you can leverage a fan page. And I'm gonna teach you all of the goods around a fan page coming up in January of 2018, okay, you guys? So be blessed, be well, thank you, I love you all, and I'll see you all real, real soon. I'll get back to scheduling my lives, okay? All right, guys, say goodbye. Show them your, here. Bye. Yeah.
Here's this gingerbread house. Isn't that cute? All right, bye guys.